The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Sheridan Technical High takes on West Broward High tonight on School Duel. Welcome to School Duel, where 24 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, tonight's game features Sheridan Technical versus West Broward High in what should be quite a showdown. Okay, before we begin, let me tell you what these students will be playing for. Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. <laughs> For the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star and Cosmo. Yes, we so appreciate you. And last but not least, well, for the winners, these students will walk away from free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. And we have the Chick-fil-A cow. Thank you. Eat more chicken. All right. All right, let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike. And in this round, it's school versus school. And each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with science terms. Derived from a Greek word for indivisible, what science term refers to the smallest unit of a Enrique? Adam. Yes, very good, and we are off. Next question, inventors. Six years after Cyrus McCormick developed a horse-drawn reaper, this man developed a steel plow that didn't get stuck in Midwest soil. Name this inventor, whose company still paints its farm equipment in a distinctive shade of green. Yes, Alejandro? John Deere. Yes, very good. All right, video games. Developer Epic Games produced versions of this game called Save the World and, yes, Enrique? Fortnite. Yes, that's what we're talking about. All right, next question. Notable names. Since his 2020 death, there have been calls to rename the Edmund Pettus Bridge in his honor because he and other protesters were attacked there in 1965. Identify this late congressman and civil rights leader who encouraged activists to get into good trouble. Yes, Enrique. McCain. Incorrect. Sheridan Technical. Martin Luther King. Incorrect. We're looking for John Lewis. All right, next question deals with translations. What English word translates to Sadiq in Arabic, Tomodachi in Japanese, Philos in Greek, and Amigo in Spanish? Lucas? Friend. Yes, very good. <laughs> Spelling. A wedding or graduation could be described as a rite of passage. As used in this phrase, spell the word right. Alejandro. W-R-I-G-H-T. Incorrect. Wes Broward, Enrique? R-I-T-E. Yes, very good. It is now time for the What Am I question, which is brought to you by Broward County Public Schools. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and then shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So let's go. A clarified form of it is traditionally used in Indian cuisine, and in the West, it is often used in baking. Identify, yes, Gabe? Butter. Yes, very good. And here's a little something about butter. The most commonly available type of butter at the grocery store is called sweet cream butter. It is made from pasteurized cream and sold in salted and unsalted forms. Here's your next question. Authors, besides the novel for which she is most famous, her literary career also included tales of her time as a nurse during the Civil War. 
Name this author whose children's novels include Eight Cousins, Joe's Boys, and Little Woman. Her name is Louisa May Alcott. All right, sports. In 2022, Sue Bird announced that she would retire after a 20-year career in what sports league? Enzo? The WNBA. Yes, very good. <laughs> Scientist. Despite what you may have heard, he did not actually use a bell in his experiments. Name this Russian scientist who pioneered classical conditioning by training dogs to Alejandro? Pavlov. Very good. Oh, that horn means the end of the first strike round. We do have West Broward leading. They have 50 points and Sheridan Technical has 30 points, but we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> Autism sometimes are overlooked. It makes us feel important that she sees him. Miss Joanne always has the brightest smile. She makes him feel at home. I ask him, what is it that you need today, Joseph? Sweet Fabrico, sweet as well. We're friends, and I love him. She talks to him directly, just making sure he's heard. It makes his day a lot easier. If I could make him smile every day, I will. I love Joanne. <laughs> Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. First round of action ended with West Broward leading. They have 50 points. Sheridan Technical has 30 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hi, I'm Lucas, and I'm a senior and team captain. Go Wolves! Hi, everyone. I'm Rebecca, a senior. Go Wolves! Hey, I'm Alejandro. I'm a senior. Go Wolves! Hey, everyone. My name is Christopher. I'm a senior. I'm the alternate. Go Wolves! Oh my God, Alejandro, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling good, you know? I'm prepared for the game, come on. Rebecca, the game's starting soon. What are your thoughts? I'm ready, I'm ready. Lucas, what are you here for? What are you here for? Yo, yo, come on, Lucas, look at the camera, look at the camera. Top of the pack, go Wolves! Hi, my name is Enrique, I'm the team captain, I'm a senior at West Broward High School, and go Bobcats! My name is Enzo, I'm a senior at West Broward High School, and go Bobcats! Hello, my name is Gabe, I'm a senior at West Broward High School, and go Bobcats! I'm Alex, I'm the alternate, and I'm a senior at West Broward High School, go Bobcats! So you're with me, and you're with me. What? Do not buzz in. Absolutely 100% no answer. The only time you buzz in if you're unsure is no, I don't buzz in after the question has fully been said. Yeah, this is going on live TV. One, two, three, go Bobcats! All right, I like it a lot. Now let's hear it for both schools. And now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust, which is presented by Public Supermarkets. Here a player from each school competes head to head with a toss up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. Our first players competing are Lucas and Enrique. Come on down. 
Here's your toss-up question, and it's worth 10 points. In a standard orchestra, what is the lowest pitched brass instrument? Yes, Lucas. Trombone. Incorrect. Enrique? A tuba. Yes, correct. Good job. All right, West Broward. The following bonus questions all deal with instruments in an orchestra. Bonus question number one. What member of the string family is larger than the viola but smaller than the bass? Yes, Enzo? The cello. Yes, very good. Bonus question number two. What large percussion instruments are traditionally made of copper and are sometimes called kettle drums? I'm sorry, it's called a timpani. Bonus question number three. What member of the brass family that can be pitched in F or B flat is typically played with the right hand inserted into its bell and was invented in Germany despite its name? Yes, Enrique? The French horn. Yes, very good. All right, my next two, Rebecca, Gabe, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. The United States entered World War II in December 1941 after a surprise attack against the Pacific Fleet at what location? A yes, Gabe? Pearl Harbor. Very good. All right. We're back with Wes Broward and Wes Broward. The following bonus questions all deal with the Pacific Theater in World War II. Bonus question number one. Identify either one of the two Japanese cities on which the United States dropped nuclear bombs. Yes, Enzo? Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Very good. All right, bonus question number two. What general of the army vowed, I shall return, when he was forced to evacuate the Philippines in 1942? Enrique. MacArthur. Very good. <laughs> bonus question number three. Consider the turning point in the war in the Pacific. What battle saw four Japanese aircraft carriers? The Battle of Midway. Yes, very good. All right, my last two to joust. Alejandro, Enzo, come on down. All right, here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. Containing a color in its title, what 1877 novel by Anna Sewell is subtitled The Autobiography of a Horse? That's Black Beauty. I have another question for you. Containing a shade of red in its title, what novel by Nathaniel Hawthorne tells the story of Hester Prynne, who was forced to wear an A at all times? That's The Scarlet Letter. All right, that horn means the end to the joust. We do have West Broward leading with 120 points and Sheridan Technical has 30 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. Lights. Camera. Action. I don't know. I've always just heard that. Now we're safe. Ah! But make sure you don't run out of power. Noted. Hello and welcome to Broward Teen News, Cypress Bay High School Edition, West Broward Edition, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High Edition. We're at Cooper City High School. And Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. 
Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. local high schools match wits. Now, today's game has Sheridan Technical competing against West Broward High School. Currently, West Broward is leading. They have 120 points. Sheridan Technical has 30 points. All right, it's now time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. And since Sheridan Technical is trailing, they get to go first while West Broward waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Today's category is, starts with U as in uniform. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter U as in uniform. Each question is worth 10 points, and remember, you must answer these quickly, or the judge will move you on. So, Sheridan Technical, here comes rapid action. Let's cue music and begin. Type of electromagnetic radiation, abbreviated UV. Lucas? Ultraviolet. Nation invaded by Russia in February 20... Rebecca? Ukraine. A small stringed instrument associated with Hawaiian music? Ukulele. Alejandro? Alejandro? Ukulele. Term coined by Sir Thomas More for a perfect society? Rebecca? Utopia. A parasol or a chart-topping hit by Rihanna? Rebecca? Umbrella. Synonym for a mortician or funeral director? Radioactive element with atomic number 92. Lucas? Uranium. 1852 anti-slavery novel by Harriet Beecher Stowe. What word describing a city environment is also the name of eight popes? Of uh, Rebecca? Urban. U.S. state where you would find Zion National Park and Salt Lake City. Lucas? Utah. All right, good job. We got through all of your questions. Let's hear it for Sheridan Technical. TV Magic, let's go ahead and bring in West Broward High School. Welcome back, West Broward. Now it's your turn with the same question. Today's category is starts with U is in uniform. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter U is in uniform. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and let's begin. Type of electromagnetic radiation, abbreviated UV. Enrique. Ultraviolet. Nation invaded by Russia in February 2022. Enrique. Ukraine. A small stringed instrument associated with Hawaiian music. Enzo. Ukulele. Term coined by Sir Thomas More for a perfect society. Enrique. Utopia. A parasol or a chart-topping hit by Rihanna. Enrique. Umbrella. Synonym for a mortician or funeral director. Gabe. Usher. Radioactive element with atomic number 92. Enrique. Uranium. 1852 anti-slavery novel by Harriet Beecher Stowe. What word describing a city environment is also the name of eight popes? U.S. state where you would find Zion National Park in Salt Lake City. Enzo. Utah. All right, good job. We got through all of your questions. There's only two questions that both teams missed, and that is the synonym for a mortician or funeral director, the undertaker, and then also the 1852 anti-slavery novel by Harriet Beecher Stowe is Uncle Tom's Cabin. All right, that ends the rapid action round. We do have West Broward leading. They have 190 points. Sheridan Technical now has 110 points, but let's take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. <laughs> So 
I stopped in at Chick-fil-A for lunch and saw Officer Wilson come in. I decided to place a dine-in mobile order and have a cookie delivered to him just to show appreciation for his service for our community. A few minutes later, I noticed that Officer Wilson had gotten up and left, and I knew he hadn't gotten his cookie yet. And I'm headed to my car. I turn around and I see Allie, and she's running after me. Mr. Police Officer, Mr. Police Officer. <laughs> Usually when someone yells, Officer, Officer, they want to ask me about a ticket they got. I absolutely wanted the cookie. <laughs> this cookie's delicious. <laughs> Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. as West Broward is holding on to their lead over Sheridan Technical. Current score, 190 to 110. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round. Our schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time the questions are worth 20 points. Now, just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. So this is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. Here we go. U.S. states, what state was called Seward's Folly or Seward's Icebox when it was purchased from Russia, Lucas? Alaska. Literary characters, created by Miguel de Cervantes, what man from La Mancha has a squire named Sancho Panza and tilts at windmills? Yes, Alejandro? Don Quixote. Very good. Mountains, located in the Karakoram Range and nicknamed the Savage Mountain, what alphanumeric mountain is the second highest on Earth? Gabe. Cat 9. Incorrect, Sheridan Technical. Yes, Alejandro. Machu Picchu. Incorrect, it's K2. The Bible. Who built an ark to save his family and Alejandro? Noah. Fast math. What is 2 times 3 times 8? Enrique. 20. 48. Sleep science. What does the acronym REM stand for in REM sleep? Gabe. Rapid eye movement. Multiple meanings. What five letter word can refer to the weight of a gemstone, especially a diamond? Or, yes, Lucas? Carrot. TV. What cable channel has a Christmas in July event featuring many of its original movies and is owned by the world's largest, Lucas? Hallmark. Materials. Historically produced by heating sand. What transparent material, Enrique? Glass. European history. Sent in 1588 by King Philip II to overthrow Queen Elizabeth I, what mighty Spanish in Alejandro? Joanna Arc. Incorrect. Wes Broward, I can finish the question. Sent by 1588 by King Philip II to overthrow Queen Elizabeth I, what mighty Spanish fleet was defeated in the English Channel? Yes, Enrique. The Spanish Armada. Space science. The habitable zone around a star is sometimes nicknamed Alejandro? The Goldilocks Zone. Professions. What medical professions usually have a DVM degree and are trained to take care of cats, dogs, and other Enrique? Vets. Chemistry. How many oxygen atoms are there in a molecule of water? And it's Enzo. Two. Incorrect. Sheridan. And Alejandro. One. Fast Capitals. What is the capital city of Texas? Gabe. Austin. Math terms. What mathematical adjective beginning with P describes two lines that meet to form, yes, Parentheses. Alejandro? Parentheses. Incorrect, West Broward Gabe? Perpendicular. Parts of speech. In the sentence, she ran very fast. What part of speech is the word very? Rebecca. Adjective. Incorrect, West Broward. It's an adverb. Islands. From 1892 to 1954, what island in New York Harbor was the first stop for approximately Enrique? Alice. Art. 
Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam and Diego Rivera's Detroit Industry are examples of what type of large painting? Applied Lucas? Mural. Mythology. What Greek mythological hero's mother dipped him in? Yes, Enrique? <sighs> All right, Alejandro? Hercules. Incorrect, it's Achilles. World Cities. One of its smaller canals is spanned by the Bridge of Size, while its Grand Canal features the Rialto Bridge, named this Italian city built on 118 islands. Gabe? Venice. Pop stars. Who is the Canadian musician known for hits like, yes, Enrique? Drake. Incorrect, Sheridan Technical. Who is a Canadian musician known for hits like Sorry, What Do You Mean, and Baby, Rebecca? Justin Bieber. Food. Its most popular variety by far is called the Cavendish. Identify this fruit. Yes, Enrique? Bananas. Oh, that sound brings an end to this school no game as Russ Brower held on to their lead, going on to beating Sheridan Technical. The ending score is 390 to 290. So congratulations, Wes Brower. You each have won Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. And of course, great job to everyone. So let's hear it for both schools. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. And of course, you at home for watching. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved. You can also watch past shows. And please remember to use hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Northeast High takes on Coconut Creek High and what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>